Hello, my viewers. Welcome to Kanjo channel. If this is your first time of um, watching my channel, thank you for coming by and then also subscribe and then like the channel. Share. If you are a palliative chaser, please, the next phase of this protest is not for you. Stay at home. Mazin and the Kanon wants Nigerian youth. So we continue the news as he said it. As we told them, they, the Fulani presidents, would. Nigerian youths never learned anything from history, but hopefully, the next phase of NSAS protest will be more militant and sustainable. Once you start a revolution, never ever stop or else you are toast. The worst mistake any group of young people can make is to start a popular uprising against a primitive, poorly educated bunch of reprobates and stop midstream without extracting concessions first. It is tantamount to signing your own death warrant. If you know you are one of those who are easily persuaded with tribal or religious arguments, or you are a palliative chaser, please, the next phase of this protest is not for you. Stay at home. What Nigeria needs is a popular resistance movement not mere protests. To achieve your goals in Nigeria, you must learn to ignore your corrupt media. Your so-called political leaders are and wretched traditional rulers who are only interested in lining their pockets. Then, you, then will you taste true freedom. He continued, without a popular uprising by young people, all of you Nigerians youths will remain eternal slaves to cattle herders from Senegambia, the same way your fathers were before you, always begging the ginger weed for restructuring. The satanic alliance between neo-colonialists, Fulani hegemony mediocrity, and a corrupt Nigerian press is all you need to die as an important slave in the British created zoo called Nigeria. Thank you, my listeners. According to Mazen Nandekano, the leader of IPOB, he said, those who are not prepared for consistent demand of their rights through protest if you are not prepared please stay away for the next phase of protest that is coming up it is going to be a very sustainable one so you don't need to be chasing palliatives you don't need to be listening to the politicians you have to demand your right you have to demand everything you need to sustain your livelihood in the future, to give you better life, to give you electricity, to give you better education, to give you everything necessary, all the basic things that is necessary. You have a legitimate right to protest. So the moment you leave it and start chasing a different thing or you stop midway, you are definitely going to be arrested later or you'll be punished for coming out to protest. You must do all you can to sustain the protest. Next time the protest will come up again, the answers protest. Next round of it is going to be very, 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 very hot. So if you are not capable, if you're if you're not capable, if your mind is not um I would say very very tough in resisting this oppression you don't need to come out just stay at home and allow those who can do it to do it 
So, my viewers, this is what we have for now. And um, I hope that you enjoy this little information coming from Mazen Nandekano, the leader of IPOB. And if you like what I'm doing, give it a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.